What's up guys, welcome to your 14th Pi Game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to move objects on your screen diagonally. So let's go ahead and the first thing we need to be a boo -boo -boo build is starting points for our object. So let's give it a X of 0 and also might as well give it a Y of 0. And after that, we need to build our clock object again and set it equal to clock pi game dot time dot clock with a capital C at the end. And this will allow us to use the clock. Next, we need to set speeds for both the y axis and the x axis. So let's go ahead and put speed x, sounds like a drug, 150, and speed y, which is also speedy, in case you didn't know. Let's set it equal to like 170 or something. So this is all the variables and objects we're going to be working with. So now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and build our, uh, well, what we need to build. So right under your for loop, um, go ahead and first thing we want to do is blit the background to screen. So screen blit background and of course put it zero zero so it fits nicely. The next thing we want to do is blit the ball to the screen. So let's go ahead and type screen blit ball and instead of coordinates such as numbers we want to give it an X and Y because um, this ball is going to be moving around so we want to give it dynamic coordinates so the coordinates will change. So after this we can begin working with our clock. So let's first get that millisecond I talked about and this will give you clock dot tick and this will make um, a millisecond equal to one milli or excuse me milli equal to one millisecond. So regardless of how fast your loop goes um, milli is going to be equal to one millisecond on every computer. So let's go ahead and convert that to seconds by taking millisecond milli and dividing it by a thousand dot to get that floating point number. I talked about that last time. So now we got one millisecond stored in that seconds. So let's go ahead and find the distance moved for coordinate X. So put DMX sounds like a rap group because it is uh, seconds spell it right seconds multiplied by speed X and what this will do is take that one millisecond and times it by however fast is going and that's how uh, what the distance your ball moves X direction and DMY and set it equal to seconds again times uh, speed Y aka speedy and this will take um, the speed it moves times one millisecond and the, t and the distance it moves in that millisecond is stored in distance of y. So now we can go ahead and after we calculated um, the distance uh, we can go ahead and change that variable. So x plus equals dmx and y plus equals dmy. But now the last thing we have to do is this is going to move our ball across the screen but once it gets to the edge of the screen um, it's going to keep going so we want to say alright when you get to the edge of the screen start back again so we have something nice to look at so if X and remember this is the width if it's greater than 640 because my window is a uh, 640 by 360 um, what do we want you to do we want you to reset to zero or go back and um, let me scroll down if y is greater than 360 so if it goes off the screen in the y direction we want you to reset so we uh, can look at you again so let me go ahead and run this hopefully I don't have any errors and looking good and here is our finished program right here as you see whenever a ball goes back in either the x direction goes back um, off the screen this way it starts over here and whenever it gets to the bottom of the screen it starts back at the top again so that is uh, the basics of how you can change both the X and Y coordinate at the same time to get diagonal movement and a couple things you probably want to remember don't forget the, uh, that decimal point right there and also don't forget that you're using separate variables for X and Y all across your program and as long as you remember those two things you should be good to go so that is that for diagonal movement 
Um, I hope you guys learned a little something, but not too much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.